here in the Grand Opera House itself and then I went on and got a call back and then obviously the callbacks were here as well and it was an amazing experience and when you're up against other people like they're all from Ireland so everyone is extremely talented and you're all going for the one part even though there are many parts there's still those few who are like looking at you being like are you going for the same part as me but it didn't, I didn't feel any pressure, it was sort of everyone sort of working together and everyone sort of praising each other and being like you're fantastic and being really supportive which was a really really good experience. I, I was looking for the next show for Belfast School of Performing Arts to do I was thinking what could we do that was epic and obviously Les Miserables is in its 30th year of existence and um, it's an epic musical uh, that has evaded time and space so basically everyone around the world has heard of Les Miserables. If you're not into musicals you've heard of Les Miserables so it was kind of the iconic thing that Belfast School of Arts should do in this its 30th year so then I thought we'll take it one step further where could we do it? The iconic building of the Grand Opera House um, to see the barricade in, in the Grand Opera House and also the show's never been in, in uh, grand, the Grand Opera House, ever. So that's the first as well. Um, so by kind permission of Sir Cameron McIntosh, he's allowed us to put on this epic performance. Even more iconic, I decided this year that we'd um, cast the net wide, so we auditioned all over uh, the island of Ireland. Um, the talent in Belfast alone is incredible. So when you then think, okay, let's spread that net and look all over Ireland, to then find talent like you, you've never seen before. I was incredibly impressed. We had um, maybe nearly 700 people were interested in being in the show and we've cast 65. So I will be playing Fontaine. So she really is at the whole beginning of the show and she goes through, in such a short space of time, she goes through an amazing journey. Like she starts off with a job but then she loses it and she's worrying about her child and she really is there to support her child because there's no one else there to support her or her family. And then unfortunately she does end up being deceased. But the journey of the character itself is going to be the most challenging part. But the tigers come at night With their voices soft as thunder As they tear your hope apart I was just talking to some of the cast and uh, our PR person, Nikki, <laughs> earlier, and um, I, I sent a couple of the videos that we've done of our cast um, as far out as um, people in Broadway who were professionals on, on the Broadway stage. And um, th they came back to me and couldn't actually believe the talent, wanted to know what these, how they were working professionally and, and how old they were. They couldn't believe the age of the, of the people in the video um, and what talent they had. And still I dream he'd come to me That we would live the years together
Um, the show runs from the 19th of August to the 27th. Uh, we have two matinees on the Saturdays during those times. Tickets are on sale now. They're going very well. Um, and you can buy the tickets at www.goh.co.uk.